The Apple Watch has long been king of the smartwatch market, with virtually no direct competition. Could Google be the first true contender? The Pixel Watch is here, and it's round. We'll have to dig into the hardware to see what else differentiates this Android offering from Apple's juggernaut. The round form factor does give the Pixel Watch a slightly less bulky look, but in reality, it's still pretty clunky for those of us with small wrists. The underside and its sensors look extremely Apple Watchy, but this digital, sorry, tactile crown is all Android. Not to get all tech reviewer about it, but this crown does not match the watch's price point. And speaking of tech reviewers, at least one has cracked their watch during a standard review, which raises all kinds of red flags for durability. And is it just me, or is this speaker slot really big? Let's find out what makes this pixel tick. It's teardown time. I actually kind of love the way these straps slide off. But that underside seam looks pretty tight, so let's heat the top case. The iFlex slips right in. Hopefully that crown won't get in the way. This adhesive feels surprisingly loose, but as we peel off the last bit, it does have some grip so hopefully that IP rating holds up. The cables have enough slack that I managed to avoid slicing them. No way to disconnect them yet though. Right away, it's obvious we're in Android country. The silver battery pouch and capped on tape are almost a shock after all our Apple teardowns. I'm after the battery connector and hopefully screen. A tiny T2 screw holds this bracket in place. No battery connector, just the vibration motor. Two more screws and out pops the buzzer. I'm probably being a little harsh, but these welds are kind of ugly. No battery or screen access here, but I think I can reach all the screws in this little metal battery frame. So let's try that. Ugh, tiny contact pieces. A little heat and prying, not great for a soft battery pouch, and it lifts out to reveal a tiny cable secured by a bracket. Yeah, the display connector is finally accessible. The connector is nestled under this test port cable. Luckily, the display cable pops right out. A good thing, since this port seems pretty stuck in the case. Nothing much to see on this display, so let's get back to the battery. A little contortion and a couple more tiny torque screws and the battery is free. This 1.32 watt hour cell is almost half the capacity of an Apple Watch Ultra, but I guess it doesn't expect to be running ultra marathons. It would be nice if a cracked screen didn't run the risk of battery replacement. I'm pretty hesitant to reuse batteries that have been pried up. Let's see if we can get to the brains of the operation and maybe the sensors too. After much scrabbling, I opt to pry up this cable thing and a speaker and hey, wait, this grill has no grill. The large slot in the side of the watch relies on the speaker's grill. No extra mesh here. Definitely not a dive watch. I still don't have anywhere to pry, so let's make some more mess. Time to dethrone this crown. Oh, hello depth sensor. And voila, the optical sensor. This little guy is likely reading notches on the tactile crown to determine its position as it rotates. I think it's time to check the back door. The tight sensor glass seam doesn't offer a lot of hope, but some heat and some help from our vice does the trick. And teardown nerd moment incoming. This adhesive is the coolest thing I've seen in a while. There's no residue at all. It's just slightly grippy. What is this material? It's so cool. No residue means no tedious cleanup and an easier prying experience. If it can also reseal without reapplication, that's a triple win for repair. Anyway, there's screws in here. And once dispatched, the board and antenna ring slide right out. Unlike most Apple watches, the heart rate sensors are soldered to the motherboard, allowing the back glass to be a separate replaceable component. As for the rest of the case, unless we can figure out how to remove the test port, it looks like the crown and button meaning all the mechanical controls are not replaceable, which is a bummer. The Pixel Watch is an interesting puzzle, both literally, as in it's hard to find your way through the maze of internal parts, and also because it has strong first-generation tech vibes. It's got buttons that are virtually unreplaceable, while also boasting a removable back that Apple took nine generations to get around to. I don't know if the price point or software are gonna beat the Apple Watch anytime soon, but if the Pixel Watch can stick around a couple generations, they may just get there. Plus, if I don't get another device with this cool adhesive, I'm gonna be so sad.